Hello Ice and Fire nerds, this is Chris and welcome back to another House of the Dragon video. Today we're talking Sir Otto Hightower. And really quickly, I apologize, it's been a week or two since I put out a video for the upcoming House of the Dragon because I've been really busy with the book lately. We're in the home stretch now. Everything's coming together. We're on the final edit now, so we're looking at probably a release date of somewhere around August, maybe early September, early to mid-September, just to be safe. I got the cover design coming along as well as the final edit and then formatting comes up July the 15th. So if you're interested in my debut fantasy novel, The Crimson Gods, head over to my website, chrismchristian.com and sign up for the newsletter there or consider joining our Patreon community. All the updates are posted in both places. So anyway, let's jump in and talk about Sir Otto Hightower, the hand of the king to three different kings, although two of those kings did remove him from office at various times. Otto Hightower was the youngest brother to the unnamed Lord Hightower of Old Town, and his children included Alison Hightower, which we talked about in the last video, the second queen to King Viserys I Targaryen, and Sir Gawain Hightower, the second in command of the Gold Cloaks at the time. Otto Hightower first served as Hand of the King after the death of Prince Balon Targaryen, the Hand of the King and son of King Jaehaerys I, otherwise known as the Good King or Old King. Jaehaerys I Targaryen was devastated by the death of Balon and his wife Queen Alysanne Targaryen as well, becoming grief-stricken at the time, and with his failing health, he became bedridden. So in that sense, Otto effectively ruled the Seven Kingdoms as Hand of the King in the final two years of Jaehaerys' life, while his daughter, who again we spoke about in the last video, Alysanne Hightower, nursed the ailing king until he finally died in his sleep. Otto Hightower continued as Hand of the King to Jaehaerys' grandson and successor of the Iron Throne, Viserys I Targaryen. He did become a rival of the king's brother, Prince Daemon Targaryen, otherwise known as the Rogue Prince. We've done a video on him as well. At the time, Daemon Targaryen, the Rogue Prince, had been named Master of Coin, and Otto convinced the king to remove him from office and did so again when Viserys named Daemon the Master of Laws. Later on, he would come to regret this when Daemon was named commander of the City Watch, which put 2,000 men under Daemon's control, and the prince thrived in his new office. In a nutshell, Otto feared that Daemon Targaryen would become the second Maegor the Cruel if he ever ascended to the Iron Throne. So at this time, before the Dance of the Dragons, Otto did wish for Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen to succeed her father on the Iron Throne as she was named his heir. However, all that would change later on when his daughter Alicent would become King Viserys' second wife after the death of his first wife, Aemon Arryn. In 109 AC, Otto Hightower was removed as Hand of the King for hounding Viserys to declare Alicent's son the heirs of the Iron Throne instead of Princess Rhaenyra, who King Viserys I had already named his heir. At the time, with no official position, he did return to Old Town. A Queen's Party known as the Greens, a group of powerful lords and friends with Alicent Hightower, remained in King's Landing who supported the rights of Alicent's sons over Rhaenyra Targaryen. In 120 AC, Otto returned as Hand after Lord Lionel Strong died. When Viserys died in 129 AC, Otto played a crucial role in crowning the eldest grandson King Aegon II in defiance of the last will of Viserys I, which again specified Rhaenyra as the successor to the Iron Throne. This defiance, along with Alicent's as well, precipitated the civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons. Now, I won't get into the details here of the Dance of the Dragons. I already have a video of an overview of the Dance of the Dragons, which we do expect to see heavily in the House of the Dragons show. But during the Dance of the Dragons, Aegon II, while king, didn't like Otto's diplomacy very well at the time when Prince Daemon Targaryen had captured Harrenhal, and many houses had declared for the other side, being the Blacks. This led to Otto Hightower's replacement as Hand of the King by Sir Kristen Cole, the Lord Commander of the King's Guard at the time, despite the pleading of Queen Alicent Hightower, of course defending her father. And near the end of the Dance of the Dragons, just as he predicted, Otto Hightower was the first one to be beheaded as a traitor by Rhaenyra Targaryen after the fall of King's Landing, when the half-year queen ruled for approximately six months in King's Landing. Anyway, guys, that's basically what we're going to see from Otto Hightower in House of the Dragon. Obviously, there's a lot of details we'll likely see as far as some uh, political maneuvering, all that good stuff as well in the background. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As usual, thank you for all the support, especially you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout-out to my executive Patreon Smokescreen producers. And if you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like, comment, and a share. And, of course, be sure to subscribe to get everything and click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.